Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be learning how to make this really cool abstract wave effect that uh, someone requested. So the, someone requested um, me to make a tutorial on how I made this and I um, decided to make it. Yeah, that's basically that story. But anyway, so I made that in Photoshop and Illustrator and basically I haven't been using GIMP very much at all really um, but I decided to use GIMP today because I thought it was a pretty cool effect and I thought you'd like it um, but anyway let's get on with the tutorial so today in this tutorial as I said we we're making that and the first step of this tutorial is you want to go to adobecooler.com go to the explore section and pick a color theme then if you have got Photoshop download it if you don't you want to screenshot the um, the um, the palette and I found this palette it's called flower it's really cool really like it and that's what we're going to be using today okay so as I said um, this is what the palette's for, we're using our colours. If you want to choose your own colours, do um, it's perfectly fine. But let's get on with the tutorial. We'll go File New. And my document size is 1500 by 500. And I'm just going to zoom it up 80%. 100's a bit too big. And I'm happy with that. Now, the first thing we're going to do is set our background to an awesome color. We're going to choose this color, FFFAE9. Fill it in. Now we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to call this Palette. Oh no, we're not. We're going to go to File, Open as Layers, and choose your palette. I'm just going to scale this down, holding Command or Control to keep it. Um, locked and we're just going to move the palette down here and palette notification ignore that okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the actual text going so for the text I'm just using future heavy on the on 250 for size and black and I'm just going to type waves and now I'm just going to align this so get my align tool and align it to the center by hitting this one and this one okay now that's our text done now we're going to start working on the actual waves so make a layer new layer called waves one and the way we make our waves is using the paths tool or pen tool in Photoshop and to start up we're going to select here around the middle of the um, the horizontal middle of the shape or text as you like and we're going to click around here lift up click around here click around here 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 and here, and then we're going to come around, hold Control or Command to connect them, and that is the paths done. Now we're going to make a selection from our path. We're then going to get our ink drop, go to our palette, select our first color, and fill it in on our waves layer. Command Shift A to deselect. Now what we're going to do is we're then going to move this down so it touches around the bottom like so. Now we're going to duplicate this and we're going to change the color. So go back to your palette, select the purple, whatever color you're using and we're going to right click, alpha to selection, select grow by two and fill. Command Shift A to deselect, and we're just going to move. 
Oh, sorry. Command alpha selection fill. There we go. Make sure you hit the center of the thing, otherwise it doesn't work. And move it. Now, as you can see, if we zoom in here, it's got this really ugly effect, and we're going to fix that um, once we've done all the colors. Um, now, duplicate this, move it down, go back to the palette, eyedropper tool, select the green, out to selection, select, grow, fill in the center, command shift A to deselect, move tool, move it up, we're going to move our purple up as well, somewhat right and duplicate, move it down, and you know the process from here. And you just want to continue doing this until your colors are almost done. Um, I I drop on palette up to selection, fill it in, command shift A, move it up like so. Now what we're gonna do to fix this is we're going to get a hard brush. The hardest brush you can find. And we're going to alpha to selection this. And we're just going to zoom in and we're going to start brushing away. See if this square brush. And as you see, we have removed that super ugly line and created a new ugly line which we're going to fix by alpha to selection, select feather by five, and get our brush again, and just go over that, and deselect. So, that's done, and we continue doing this until it's all done. That's fixed. Next one. Now, this is the first time of me making this. It's not gonna happen. Oh. Do not forget to select that color. Um, it doesn't look as smooth as my one. done in Photoshop and Illustrator, but it's looking pretty good, if I do say myself. And we're done with that section. Okay, now the last section is we're actually going to have to put the waves on the um, layer of our text. So to do this, we're going to alpha to selection our text, go to our waves, 
Then we're going to go select invert and select and then edit cut and continue doing this. Edit. looking awesome now change the color of the waves to a light gray and Lower the opacity, and that's looking really cool. Okay, so now what are we going to do? We're going to add some highlights. So to add highlights, we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to call it Highlights. Now to do the highlights, I like getting a big, fluffy, light brush. And I like to first of all, go straight across the top, set it to overlay, and lower the opacity. Remember to after selection, so it's all select, invert, edit, cut. Turn it off overlay and put it on normal and just lower the opacity. That's the first highlight. The next highlight I like to do is I'll just call it like a now to do these I get my ellipse tool uh, my rectangle tool and I round the corners and I want them really quite round like 100% rounded corners let's make that smaller and I like to fill this in with white and shift A and we're basically layer to image oh. layer to boundary size. No. Oh, just leave it as is and move that across scale it down and I'm just going to rotate I'll rotate it a bit more Now and move this sucker over right here and you can lower the opacity. Now duplicate this layer because we can use the same specular for the V. Just rotate it a bit. Move it. Cross now duplicate it again because the hard ones are on their way. Oh, what am I doing? It's not scale, rotate. Let's 
move this. Yep. Okay, that's nice and straight. Move it across. Okay, do the A now. Duplicate it, copy. Just rotate it. Rotate it a bit more. Now for the S, I don't know how I'm going to do this at all. I am literally clueless. Um, since I made... In Photoshop, I would just bend it, but... Does GIMP have a bend tool? not that I can remember. Okay, I've got an idea. Quick and easy solution. Sorry about this, guys. I'm sure. Delete there. And... Merge these down. And I'm just going to get my eraser. And I'm sorry, S, but I can't figure out how to do you. I do not want to waste time. And what we'll do is we'll just leave it like so. Now for the speculars, you want to just lower the opacity to around 50 on all of them. And that is my, and that is how, let me just merge everything down. I created this abstract wave effect in GIMP. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I know we took a few shortcuts by getting rid of the S and it's still a bit um, jaggedy but that's the best I could probably do and give you guys. Um, thanks for watching the tutorial. I'm probably actually going to make one of these in Photoshop available for purchase eventually. Um, but thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope you learned how to do this effect. And thank you for watching. This is basically exactly what I did to make it. Maybe just it looked slightly more refined. Thank you very much. And I shall see you in my next tutorial.